and yet another tool available for scheduling the library is with Google appointments and I'm going to show you how to do that here so here you'll see my Google Calendar <clears throat> and you'll see that it is in the month view you can't do it in the month view so you have to go to the week view so you'll need to click on that and you'll see the different times that you have per day so if you want to set up some appointments that your teachers will be able to um, click on and uh, point themselves for that time during the library this is how you'll do it so I have let's say from 8.30 to 9.30 um, now that's not exactly our first period but you can edit that so you'll just click on there and click and drag and then unclick and uh, you click on appointment slots now I have several different calendars as you can see um, but I want to make sure that it appoints it during the it appoints it into the uh, Bernal library so I'll click on that calendar and um, I'll say this is for sixth grade uh, library time and you can offer the slots we have 45 minute class periods now obviously I want to adjust that time so you can edit the details and here uh, you'll be able to this is what time our first period is from 825 to 910 you'll be able to edit there now I can do that for that day and for the rest of the days I want to make it daily so I'll just make the appointments for that week and I'll make it end started on Tuesday and I'll make it end on Friday now you'll notice up here to create the appointment slots you just pick a block of time we've already done that and then you can share this appointment page with this link here and then um, your guests can book the appointments by picking the slots that they want to pick from. Um, you can give some instructions telling your teachers what to do here. Um, I would tell my teachers, give me a little description of what you want. Do you want just checkout? Do you want to just borrow the library space? Do you actually want to collaborate with me on a lesson? Give me a little bit more details do you want to plan or something um, so just give me some kind of description here from teachers um, and then once you have that you save it and you'll see what it looks like there now let's see what it looks like from their view so this is the link that you want to share and this is what they will see so obviously not there there is the appointment slots that they'll pick and once they pick they'll be able to uh, book that appointment like I said teachers would put here give me a description of what they want this will actually be their name not my name but because I'm doing it in my account it's showing up but it will be the teachers name on there and this is what will show up on your um, calendar so I'm going to put here just to test it out and you'll see that that appointment has been taken and it cannot be double booked and that's one of my favorite parts about this um, tool so no other teacher can pick that one time available it will not be double booked so you click here and you'll be able to see in October it is there for that person and all this is what looks on your calendar this teacher has booked an 825 first period and here are all of the available times left over and that's what you'll be able to see on your time right there Now, what you can do, this link, instead of emailing it to everyone, 
um, what you can do is put it on a, a button on your website and connect that to there. Now the only thing that I don't like about this is that I can't embed a calendar onto my website. I want them to be able to see that this has been taken already um, so they can't get that and then they could schedule it. So that's kind of an issue but if they just click on here they'll be able to see what is available and what is not available. So it's pretty simple process um, and it's if you're using Google Calendar it's already set up and available. I've heard some people that go by uh, weeks first and they set them up that way. Um, I like to do mine by the month so that is another tool, tool that is available. Thank you.